the president of the United States as we speak, Joe Sleepy Biden. He finally comes to the stand and he says, you know what? It's crisis mode. You guys were right. You guys were right. Everybody's been saying it's a migrant crisis. It's a migrant crisis. And I haven't really been seeing anything, but I decided to finally come out my shell. And I have spoken. Let's, let's tune in. President Joe Biden says he's done all that he can do about the migrant surge along the southern border, a situation he now acknowledges is a crisis and continues to blame Republicans for not providing a legislative solution. Fox News correspondent Matt Finn in Eagle Pass, Texas, with exclusive images of the situation on the ground and new information about the differences in enforcement from California to Texas. A Fox drone capturing truckloads of new fencing arriving in Shelby Park in Eagle Pass. Nearly every day, Texas is fortifying its razor wire barrier on the property while defying the Biden administration's demands to allow Border Patrol agents back in. Texas is no longer allowing migrants to freely cross into the park where last month up to 4,000 a day were entering. Around sunrise today, migrants illegally crossed and climbed onto Texas's cargo container wall. Texas National Guard ordered them back to Mexico. The migrants did not comply and Texas DPS arrested them for criminal trespass. At the edge of the park, the Rio Grande River is dramatically rising. Texas is pulling its massive cargo containers away from the water, which Texas DPS warns is potentially lethal for migrants to cross right now. Also on the southern border to the west in Hakumba, California, Fox was there as SUVs dropped off dozens of migrants who illegally breezed right through a border wall. A U.S. Customs and Border Protection source tells Fox News there were more than 1,300 Border Patrol apprehensions in the San Diego sector yesterday alone. 1,100 were single adults, with more than 160 from China and 120 from Vietnam. The San Diego. Everybody's thinking that these people is just Mexican. Everybody's thinking that these people are just Spanish speaking Spanish speaking people. Yes, I am. But these immigrants and these migrants are coming from all over the world. They're coming from all over the world. And finally, Biden says something. But what does he say? He says it's not his fault. He says he's been trying to get things done, but it's the Republicans' fault. I mean, at some point in time, people, we got to ask ourselves, when is it going to stop? When is it going to stop? When are you guys going to stop blaming this person and blaming that person? When are y'all guys going to, when are you guys going to get together, sit down, actually have a productive conversation because both of y'all both parties are stupid. Both parties are very stupid right now. And they're acting like a bunch of invalids. When are y'all going to get it together and have this actual dialogue to secure the border? So we don't have people like to take our border back convoy we don't have people taking it out of their own hands trying to, to, to take this stuff back. So we don't have the Texas citizens bringing more barbed wire after the Supreme Court says we don't want no more. When are you guys going to actually have this conversation and actually get something done? Besides closing down recreational centers so they can sleep in them. We don't have the resources or the time to babysit some grown people. And we don't have the common sense in the White House, in our government, to say, we actually got to start working together, y'all. 
We actually got to start working together. When is it going to stop? When is it going to stop? When is it going to stop? Let's finish off this video, see what else they got to say about it. And then we're going to head on out of here, y'all. It's been a good trip. It's been a good stream. Diego Scepter has seen more than 100 Chinese nationals each day over the past week. And here in Eagle Pass, the month of January is typically a slower month for migrant arrivals. So as the weather warms up over the next couple of months, we'll likely get a clearer picture about whether Texas's razor wire barrier is ultimately deterring those record large groups we have seen here. Any Man, forget the razor wire. Once the weather is warm, we about to see them chilling. We about to see a whole bunch more. It's just because it's cold right now that we ain't seeing it. It's just because it's cold. We 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 still seeing a lot, but we gonna see. I think we. My prediction is we gonna see a lot more winter water because they ain't even have to complain about the cold. They gonna just be chilling. 